you guys, it's your girl T. Okay, so what went down is that basically Khloe Kardashian and Khloe Grace Moretz, who we all know from Bad Neighbors 2, which was a really good movie. I took my oldest son and his friends to go see that a while back. Anyways, honey, Chloe decided to jump in this whole little beef with Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian. That's Chloe Moretz. She decided to post the following. As we all know, she's a strong feminist and she's basically, you know, team anti Kim, okay? And so this is what Chloe decided to say. And so when Chloe jumped in, all of a sudden, Chloe Kardashian, honey, she done put on her cape jumped on Twitter and basically tried to call herself dragging Chloe Moretz for the filth. As stars take sides in the Kimye versus Taylor Swift drama. In case you missed it, Kim went off Sunday night, posting a series of Snapchats that show Taylor Swift on the phone with Kanye West seemingly giving Kanye permission to use her name in the song Famous. Taylor Swift's so-called frenemy, Katy Perry, just chose to promote her new song, while Chloe Grace Moretz tweeted, everyone in this industry needs to get their heads out of a hole. Stop wasting your voice on something so petulant and unimportant. Chloe Kardashian apparently took offense to Chloe Grace's tweet, replying to the actress with the question, is this the a-hole you're referring to? Chloe attached a pic of Chloe Grace in a red bikini. And a second, more graphic shot we're not going to show you. It's of an unidentified woman in a similar bikini whose backside had been exposed. So here's a quick breakdown. We all know what happened. Uh, Kim Kardashian, earlier in the day, posted a video of Taylor Swift basically talking to Kanye West and okaying him to use her, you know, her name and everything in his song, Famous, okay? So Chloe Moretz was kind of upset. She got herself involved. And damn, Chloe Kardashian went and grabbed her damn cape, honey, and came for her because she caught herself trying to, you know, throw shade at her sister, okay? So this is what Chloe Moretz posted on Twitter, and this was Chloe Kardashian's response. And I'm gonna kind of blur out the girl's little booty hole because we don't need to see all that on YouTube, okay? Check this out. All right, so you guys just saw um, what Ruby Rose had to say and what Khloe Kardashian's response was to anybody coming at her. So after Khloe with a K's clap back to Khloe with the C's tweet, okay? Both their names are Khloe, but they're spelled totally different and the shit got me confused, okay? Anyhow, Khloe came back and she basically stated that, that the image on the left is definitely her, but the image on the right is not her. And that's an unknown girl who was wrongfully photographed. And then she also tweeted a screenshot from the movie Bad Neighbors 2, where she's wearing a different colored bikini bottom to prove that she was not the girl on the right. So a lot of people took to Twitter to criticize Khloe for posting that photo, saying that she went too far. Um, the lady from Orange is a New Black, Ruby Rose, pointed out that Khloe's bashing a 19-year-old girl. Um, and then Chloe came back to clap back at folks coming at her. She will always go hard for her family. She did the same thing. She was the only Kardashian to clap back at Amber Rose when Amber Rose came for Kim. You know what I'm saying? So we should expect nothing less from Chloe Kardashian. That's how she gets down. Okay. So now besides that drama with Chloe and Chloe, we're also calling out a lot of other celebrities for being shady towards Taylor Swift. Okay. So what went down is that basically Zendaya. She didn't say anything, but she was liking certain comments that a lot of folks were saying were really, really shady, especially being that she was in Taylor Swift's Bad Blood video and she got a check from Taylor Swift, okay? So other celebrities, um, Demi Lovato unfollowed Selena. Um, Selena got exposed for just being an idiot. 
Um, also, Chris Brown had a lot to say. He basically told Taylor Swift to shut the fuck up and make music. So the whole situation was just insane last night. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these comments and tweets and what folks had to say about Zendaya and Demi and, you know, all these folks that were basically taking sides in the whole Kim Kardashian, Taylor Swift beef. Check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. because people say that I was a part of Taylor Swift's squad, which was kind of cool. Can I be a part of my own squad? Do I have to be a part of someone else's squad? <laughs> I have to be a part of the Z squad. You know what I'm saying? Less hate. All right, you guys just saw all the comments. You guys even saw Justin Bieber's creepy ass video. You know him. Of course, he's going to have something to say because everybody's going in on his on again, off again ex girlfriend. So, anyways, my thing is this a lot of folks want to know what I thought about Khloe Kardashian. You know, I felt like Khloe Kardashian kind of like went a bit too hard um, because she didn't have proof that that picture was uh, Khloe Mortez. Um, it was just an unknown girl. So, I feel like, you know, she kind of like went a bit too hard for what Khloe said. Khloe didn't really say anything that offensive you know she was stating her opinion like everybody else on social media but I understand Khloe Kardashian is gonna go hard for her family that's just how she gets down you know I also think part of it is that you know with uh Khloe Mortez speaking out against people airing out you know drama and being petty online um that kind of affects the Kardashians brand we all know they're about their money so you're not about to fuck with their livelihood of course she's gonna come hard because that's what they're known for they're known for you know the celebrity gossip they're known for being all over the gossip magazines and you know throwing a little bit of shade here and there so I think that that's why Khloe Kardashian also came off as hard as she did and then not to mention when Kim had posted that naked picture of herself um Khloe Mortez also had something to say so I think Khloe Kardashian has been holding kind of a grudge against Khloe Mortez ever since then so that's why she went in as hard as she did this whole situation is a hot damn mess honey and I'm here for it all bitch I'm over here sipping tea yes we are gathered here today to sip some tea bitch go ahead leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation how do you feel about what Khloe Kardashian said to Khloe Mortez how do you feel about what Zendaya did with the shady likes do you feel like Zendaya is picking a side and you know it's not cool because she was hanging with Taylor Swift in one moment and now she's acting brand new how do you feel about what Chris Brown had to say do you agree with Chris Brown or do you feel like Chris Brown should take a dose of his own medicine being that he's also always in his feelings and always got something to say on social media and then how do you feel about Demi Lovato unfollowing Selena Gomez I want to know what y'all think about the whole Selena Gomez situation let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl T make sure to subscribe like and share my video you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.